Renewable energy is energy that is generated from natural processes and is not depleted. Solar energy is a clean and abundant renewable energy source, but despite the fact that Hong Kong has a great potential for it, we only generate about 4 megawatts per year. So here's the good news. Knowing the fact that there are numerous housing areas within the new territories where rooftops could be used to install solar panels, the Environment Bureau proposed a new scheme called the Feed-In Tariff. Residents are encouraged to set up solar renewable energy systems on their premises. They could then earn a profit by selling their energy to CLP and Hong Kong Electric. Take a 700 square foot rooftop area for example. Owners could approximately install 12 pieces of solar panels with a generation capacity of 3 kilowatt per hour. It could then generate 3,000 units of renewable energy electricity per year. With a feed-in tariff rate of $5 per kilowatt hour, the owner is estimated to earn around 15,000 Hong Kong dollars per year. Hopefully the payback period would then be around 10 years. So, what are the challenges faced by the government when imposing this scheme? Firstly, as Hong Kong has few expertise in implementing solar energy systems, the cost of installation is quite expensive. People with rooftops may not have the money to invest in the scheme, while those who are interested may live in urban city areas. Thus, benefits from the scheme may be outweighed by the cost. Secondly, a WWF study showed that local residents would only accept up to a 5% increase in the cost for electricity. Considering this, it is unknown whether the two power companies can cover the costs for the feed-in tariff or whether they pass these costs to non-solar power consumers to absorb. If the latter is true, the energy produced from the scheme may prove controversial to general consumers. Thirdly, Hong Kong now consumes about 40 billion kilowatts per hour of electricity per year, whereas a home with solar panels can produce around 1,560 kilowatts per hour. Consequently, if there's a limited number of participants to the scheme, its influence in the energy market would be relatively small. With all these problems, how can the government respond? First, the government can provide subsidies for the initial costs of installation and day-to-day -day maintenance to encourage more village house residents to adopt solar power. This may encourage the residents to invest in the scheme, increasing the production of renewable energy. The government could also offer incentives to the power companies themselves in the form of subsidies, investment support and tariffs to direct them to buy electricity from the residents. These schemes should be regulated often to meet market prices. Inviting private sector firms, especially blue chip companies to join the scheme, could also prove extremely beneficial. With large areas of rooftop available in commercial buildings, having them join in would greatly boost the production of solar energy. Last but not least, the government could broaden its renewable energy base. For example, wind energy, with CLP currently studying the feasibility in developing offshore wind farms in southeast Hong Kong. We believe that by diversifying the source of renewable energy, Hong Kong may continue to develop into a green city whilst reducing dependence on fossil fuels.